world was created, there was the sky world, high above the endless waters. In this sky world, there lived the sky caretaker and his wife, the sky woman. They lived in a lodge by the great tree of light, which illuminated their world through its brightly glowing flowers. One day, a great wind burst through the sky world and ripped the tree of light out of the ground. The light was gone, and all that remained was a vast hole. The sky woman accidentally fell through the hole. She fell for miles and miles and was about to plunge into the endless waters below when a fish hawk spotted her and caught her in his wings. The woman was too heavy for the hawk and he started sinking towards the waters. Luckily, a great sea turtle saw the pair faltering towards the water. He offered his back for the woman to live. But the woman needed earth under her feet, so she asked the animals of the endless waters for help. None of the other animals could dive deeper than the muskrat, so he was called on to swim down and find earth. The muskrat dove deep, deep, deep down into the endless waters. Finally, he touched soft mud. He scooped up as much as he could and returned to the surface. All the animals helped spread the earth onto the turtle's back. As the animals worked, the Sky Woman began to walk in counterclockwise circles around the turtle's back. As she walked, the turtle began to grow. The woman walked in larger and larger circles around the turtle's back, and the turtle grew and grew and grew. Finally, the turtle was the size of the earth we know today. Together, the Sky Woman and the animals built lakes and mountains and forests and vast plains. The woman had a daughter who became the Earth Mother. Earth Mother bore three daughters, corn, beans, and squash, and twin sons, the evil-minded Flint and the good-minded Sapling. The good son Sapling created the sun, the moon, plants, and other animals. He created all the pleasant things we have on earth. His evil brother Flint destroyed much of Sapling's work. He created what was unpleasant in the world we know. When Sapling created fish, Flint gave them hard bones. When Sapling created berry bushes, Flint gave the bushes thorns. When Sapling created summer, Flint made sure there was a winter. Sapling then created different kinds of humans. He filled their minds with good thoughts, but his brother made sure to give them evil thoughts too. From yellow bark, Sapling created the Asian race. From sea foam, he created the Caucasian race. He created Africans from dark clay. And from red clay, he created the Haudenosaunee or Iroquois people. But these different humans could not live together in the same place. They were constantly at war. Each race was then separated and put into each of the four corners of the world. The world is still carried by a giant sea turtle over the endless waters and the different races still make war to this day. <laughs>